Hello, Commissioner Lokodo. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Could you please introduce yourself for our audience? My name is uh, Father Simon Lokodo, former member of parliament, former minister of ethics and integrity, former minister of industry and technology. I'm now Commissioner Uganda Human Rights Commission. Now, thank you, sir. You told us that you are a commissioner at the Uganda Human Rights Commission. Now, our audience might not be too familiar what this department is. So if you could please introduce about this department and the role of the organization. The Uganda Human Rights Commission is a constitutional commission which is meant to harmonize, provide and ensure that there is justice, law and order, there is respect of the human person and there is service to everybody as it is deserved. So I want to make sure that all the rights and privileges that every human being on earth are respected in Uganda. Right to food, right to shelter, right to education, right to health, right to all services that a human being needs in order to be happy. We want to condemn things like torture, unfair treatment of persons, imposition of things that are not in the normal for everybody to be comfortable with, and uh, in Uganda, we have got four major rights, which we call capital. The right to life, the right to housing, the right to education, and right to freedom. This commission oversees the activities of government, oversees the activities of the society and the community, and makes sure that the human person takes the lead. In fact, in our constitution, we say the first entity in life is the human person and power belongs to the people. I heard that you reported to the president of Uganda about HGBPL during the cabinet meeting. Now what made you to introduce HGBPL to that meeting? And back then, how was the reaction like from the president? Yes, I told you that with the documentation that I came with from South Korea, plus other information that I got through the group which is here in Uganda, the branch of HPWL here. I met the president in cabinet and it was in the context of signing a commitment as a pending signature to ensure that there is a worldwide concern for the reunification of the two Koreas. And uh, we even went through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs because we wanted to have a protocol signed in respect to some subject. So the president is aware and um, he knows that there is this effort and endeavor by HWPL to see to it that this is realized as a worldwide concern, that there should be peace, peace in the world and uh, that everybody should live in peace. They actually uh, support you to the mission, vision, of HPWL. Thank you. Now, out of all the initiatives that HPWPL has, what was most interesting for you? I have admired its mission, its intention to see that the world is pacified, people live in peace, irrespective of their color, race, region, a continent, language, political affiliation, etc. This is very ideal. Because in Uganda, we went through a period of turmoil. For more than 20 years, we were at war, and people hated it. There were no services, there was no education, no food, no development of roads. Nothing was taking place. Health services were very remote, and I admire very much the maxims of HWP health. Because it wants a world which is peaceful, the world which is united, and the world which cares for each other. Lastly, sir, I want to know why you're working with HVPL. Oh my God. Materially, I know I don't get much. But psychologically, socially, spiritually, I gain a lot. I attended one of the conferences in Korea, which was very huge, and it had a touch of the entire world. It impressed me, and I said, wow, this is a place to be. This is a real family, and this is a good company I must be a member of. So I admire and appreciate very much the work of HWPL. 
two, I want to say that we lack peace in the world. We are torn apart. Look at the east, look at the north, look at the south. Everywhere there is always war. And I admire HWPL because it wants to correct this unfortunate phenomenon in society where we are fighting, be it for political reason, be it for land, be it for antagonism of tribalism, etc., etc. So I gain a lot by being a member of HWPL because my character is trained. I am given a humane attitude towards other people and I work for harmonious coexistence of humanity. Thank you, Commissioner Lokodo, for being with us today and sparing your very precious time with us. Once again, thank you very much. Have a great day. It's my pleasure. Thank you.